gives if some little or something I learned on the way um, raising fish. Five tips on how to expand your fish's lifespan and keep it alive as well. Fish are kind of famous for dying. Kinda. Right? Some of the goldfish, right? I'm getting distracted. Tip one. Don't. If you have a, a, a big aquarium um, with a pump. And even not. Do not overfeed the fish. Even if you overfeed the fish. It won't just affect the fish. ish, And they'll get overfed. Like, how you, you mistake it that you can eat an e extra large pizza uh, all on your own and because of your, the amount of hunger you are in. Hmm. That's what fish is. Are. As I mentioned before, fish are like very uh, common in humans, their acts. So, and if you have a big aquarium with a auto pump, automatic pump, it will suck up the food and it'll clog up the pump. So, oh, don't overfeed the fish. Tip two, try cleaning the pump every two weeks and get it checked if any funky thing is happening. Like, even if you clean it, something's wrong, get it checked. Daily maintenance is necessary. Maybe around once a month, get it checked just in but only if it's acting a bit fu funky or something's wrong and yeah all all that problems tip three it's a big one know what kind of fish you're rearing because a, a few days ago i didn't know what fish is i was rearing it turned out to be a fighter fish now there are different kinds of fish Fighter fish and normal fish. Fighter fish are the most beautiful. Oh, the, well, the, the, if you ever seen a fighter fish, they normally have big fan and like tails, which are beautiful. Or other kinds of fighter fish. But if you ever buy fish, make sure with the shopkeeper that uh, it's not a fighter fish. If you want to put it with other fish. If you want to get a fighter fish, I recommend you put it in a small tank. Not too big, a small elbow, a normal fish bowl, oh, and isolate it from even the presence of any fish can disturb a fighter fish. I learned that in the third death. It was a fighter fish that I named Star. He 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 passed because I put him in an, in a in a uh, in a tank full of other fish. He didn't fight. He just got very depressed and died. Even when we tried to save him, he passed. It was very sad. Yeah, it was very sad. But Star taught me something. Never, I repeat, never, ever get sucker fish and fighter fish together. But any fish for that matter, uh, never ever get them together with fighter fish. Fighter fish are normally isolated for a reason. There's a reason why you only see them either being with their own kind or alone. There's a reason for that. They will kill. There's a reason they call, they're call they called fighter fish. Star wasn't really much of a killer, but other fighter fish will kill. So, yeah, it's better. If you want to get a fighter fish, don't get other fish. Tip four, it's one of the most important. Make sure the place you buy it, they don't give you cheapskate items. Like cheapskate fish food or cheapskate tanks or cheapskate anything for that matter. And if the fish at the place you bought, uh, you're th thinking on buying them don't look healthy or look depressed or sad or any other reason, or any, any reason that it makes them look unwell. This is excluded for fighter fish though. Because fighter fish are normally in not very active. They're just very pr beautiful. This is excluded for fighter fish. If you see a fighter fish laying in the 
uh, on the uh, on the bottom of this its bag it is fine it's just a natural fight of fish instinct a, a star did the same thing it's just that the presence of the other fish disturbed star tip five it's not really that necessary but it does include uh, guppies now if you've seen a guppy you would know their tails are very beautiful but if you haven't i'll show you a picture guppies let's take guppies for an example they like being with their own kind but they can get along well they can't get along with other kinds of fish they have to see, be from the same family tree or else they're dead but this excludes for sucker fish sucker fish can be with any kind of fish except for fighter fish of course especially fighter fish actually when i had star he actually beat one of my sucker fish and we had to like take care of him a bit we it, it was not obvious feeling well so it actually beat my one of my sucker fish if you don't know what is sucker fish it's a kind of fish that eats all the dirt on the tank they look like, like adorable little suckers and i have a very beautiful sucker fish so we didn't know about it why he died and until you know it's a bit of a bite on the fin and yeah and he died now back to guppies either a sucker fish or no other fish either sucker fish or the same in type they have to be from the same family tree it's not necessary they has to be the same kind of fish it just has to be related in some way like they have to be like in the same family tree if it's another let's say it's koi and guppy kois and guppies do not get along but angelfish and koi do get along i actually have an angelfish and koi well two angelfish and maybe around uh, six koi they get along great so angelfish and koi i know get along great they actually eh, have done some acrobatic stunts before it was impressive really they even swam upside down and for fish i've never seen that before yeah that's so yeah and that includes tip five all my tips hope you like this video thank you for watching make sure to hit that and subscribe button and ring the notification bells so you're always notified when i post a new video bye